Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. So, here's the deal. These past few months, we've had an outpour of positive reception from you guys around what we're creating. And we really want to get that game out to you sooner. That's why we're diving right into early access on September 24th, 2024. And a heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated in the beta. The team has been rocking around the clock to incorporate a ton of the feedback you guys gave us, and we can't wait to share the progress. Now, I don't believe anyone should have to pay more than 50 USD for a game. And if you want to support the team above and beyond the initial price point, that is awesome, and we really appreciate it. There will be a special edition with the game's soundtrack and Jason's awesome tunes. But that should be your choice, based on how much you guys dig the game. So the Forever Winter is going to be $27 at early access. There will be zero pay-to-win solutions. You will earn your gear via skill or luck, and you will not be able to buy your way into Nirvana. You will never be charged for a new character, because that's the way it should be when you buy a game. You will not be charged for maps, guns, additional quests, new bosses, and more. That nickel and diming shit is for the birds. We will charge for skin packs, and any sales there will go to supporting the character team and allowing us to make even more baller characters in the future. Now why do all this? I fondly remember a time growing up in the 90s when you could go to Comp USA and buy a box copy of Command and Conquer, Giant Citizen Kabuto, or KKND for 50 bucks or less and be set for months. I'm really hoping we can get back there. Now for the roadmap. We really respect what the homies did with Ready or Not. Having the balls to release Greybox maps into their map lineup was incredible. So we're taking a page out of their book. We will give you one work in progress map early so you guys can scope it out, have some fun, and hopefully give the team some super helpful feedback so we can make them even more kick-ass when they drop fully. Taking it one step further, we want the community to get a chance to vote on which bosses and which features we bring online first in our post-launch plan. Anyone who bought the game will get access to an exclusive channel in our Discord. There, you will be able to vote on what or who drops next. The art team and our brothers at Evolve 512 broke our backs to make sure we planned months in advance to give you guys the post-apocalyptic road trip you deserve. And if the game does well, shit. We want to bring this art style to entirely new environments in the future. It's going to be a wild ride. Now let's talk hosting. Regardless of how many people play, you will always be able to play with your friends locally and via peer-to-peer -peer hosting. We learned from the nightmares some of our industry colleagues have gone through this past year. So that means no infinite loop matchmaking bugs and no flooded servers where you can't jump into what you just bought. We did this so that no matter what happens, when you buy our game, you can jump in and rock and roll, even if it's solo. If you want to reach out to the dev team, hit up the Discord. There's a ton of homies in there that love Grimdark just as much as we do. Now on a more somber note, these past few months, we lost Spec Ops The Line, Project Boundary, and now they are shutting down the Battlefield 3 servers. The reality is, in the never-ending quest for profit, they are closing the gate on some really special games that inspired us. Games cost more now to develop than they ever have, and that means risk mitigation is priority one, two, and three. And remember, it's not their fault. They're a product of their environment, and that's why this year has been so inspiring to see other crews breaking out of that muck to bring the magic, one ammo belt at a time. Lastly, words cannot express how much we appreciate your support. People from all nations and all ages have reached out just to say, thanks for going there and handling the subject with the care and energy it deserves. This means we're not alone in hoping we see a new kill zone, a gritty battlefield, maybe a new Command & Conquer title that's not a bloody mobile game. But if the response to what we're building is any indicator, Maybe they will find the guts to bring those games back the right way. And in the meantime, we'll see you guys in the wasteland on September 24th, 2024. Cheers.